Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that I have learned over the years on do's and don'ts of foiling. So keep watching if you want to see how to give your client softer grow out, no heavy line of demarcation, and a much blended look that they will be so much happier to have. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram at Christy at the cottage. Um, so let's get into the video, which is foiling do's and don'ts. So the doll that I'm going to be using, um, blonde princess, I got this off of Amazon. I mean, like it's almost been a year and I just literally opened the box and here she is. And she came with a little you know thing for the station a little stand to hold her on so if you guys are looking for a mannequin clearly i haven't used this yet but um she had decent reviews she wasn't like necessarily the cheapest one but i wasn't trying to spend a hundred dollars either so um let me see if i'm smart enough to figure this out maybe oh, oh am i oh i got it on the first try, you know, sometimes the Lord blesses you with ingenious that you just can't deny sometimes. So here we go. I got my stand. Usually that would take me forever to try to figure out. I'm kind of an idiot. All right, so we're gonna try and adjust this so it can move around a little bit better. Um, all right, give me a second to put this on. Okay, so I just got my stand all figured out. Uh, by the way, her name is Blonde Princess and she's clearly a brunette, so I don't know what that's about. So anyways, here she is. Her hair is a decent length. So we're gonna get her all set up and then I'm just going to do her so that she's parted um, down the center and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one part like you know, do's and the other part don't of foiling. Okay, so here's Miss Blonde Princess, not blonde, but whatever. So we're just gonna go with this natural part that she has and I'm going to just section her off. And by the way, the bleach that I'm using is Schwarzkopf Blonde Me with 20 volume. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start on this side, okay? And I'm gonna show you what you should do for foiling. Actually, I'm gonna turn her this way a little bit. So you guys all know how I like to do my foils around the hairline. I like to start off vertically and I really like to just really softly like do a really soft natural weave. Okay, and then Hopefully this sticks, because you know sometimes they don't hold very great. Oh, yep, see what I mean? All right, hold on. Stay. Okay. And you guys know the reason why, if you watch my videos, you know the reason why I like doing the hairline this way is because it just creates a really nice, soft, natural highlight as if the sun were to naturally, um, you know, sun kiss the hair. It just looks really soft and subtle. Fold it, okay, and then I always do at least two. Sometimes, you know, like if we're just doing a partial, I just do two or three at the most.
And then same thing here, we're just going to do a really fine weave. And when you foil, you wanna make sure when you're applying your bleach that it's like, you know, nice and thick. You don't want to not have enough product on there and then it dries out or it just doesn't get good lift. Especially if you're doing a client that has darker hair, you wanna make sure that you have really good heavy saturation um, and you want to make sure that there's not like you know, bald spots in the bleach where you can kind of see through to the hair a whole bunch. So that's how I would do my hairline foil. And just fold it right at the corner there. Don't like press really hard into this area. So now I'm gonna flip to the other side. And we're going to do our don't of hairline foil. Which you guys have heard me talk about this so much. I've literally had people come to me just for my hairline foils because let me show you what happens when you foil this way. A lot of people go right on the hairline. And they do this thing, okay? They take like, first of all, a big chunk and they do this. The reason why you don't want to foil, um, you know, this way up the head is because when they pull their hair back, they're gonna have all these lines, which I see it so much and so often and it makes me cringe. I mean, if that's honestly what the client wants, then do what the client wants. And this is the don't side. So I'm not gonna saturate very good. And I'm gonna do a few other things that I see people do that they shouldn't. So um, one thing is foiling up and pinching and pressing the foil so hard. What you're doing when you, okay, you pinch it, whatever, you pinch it because you fold it up, you pinched it, whatever. I'm gonna unfold it and show you guys. Okay, look at that. We squeeze the bleach out of that area and down in here. So you guys will see as she processes, um, she's gonna have like little bands in her hair is what I'm assuming is gonna happen because when I wasn't, you know, when I was starting out or just didn't know better, that's what I would do. And then I'm always like, why does she have like little splotches in her foil? And that's why, because you're squeezing the bleach out. Another thing is taking too thick of a section. Look at how thick this is. A, just a straight slice, super thick. Oh, I'm gonna do one on the other one. I forgot. So when, like, when I watch people foil and they don't utilize the whole like foil sheet. It gives me anxiety and it gets under my skin because I'm like, you are creating so much more work for yourself. I'll show you what I mean. Look at how um, nice and, you know, I'm not like overextending the hair. Maybe I should since this is the don't side. I'm not extending the hair from way over here beyond the foil line. Let's see, this is what people do. They take like a little, this little guy. Or even sometimes I've seen people where they only have like, you know, this much hair in their foil. And I don't understand why they do that because they could be doing, they're making more work for themselves by only utilizing like half the space of the foil. 
Another thing too is don't just come through and just slide it on the top. I'm gonna do that here. We'll see if it comes out splotchy. But I don't know if you noticed in my other video, or not my other video, my other side, I was going through, coming in like this, and I was really kind of brushing the foil this way. That's That way I'm making sure that I'm penetrating this section of hair and I'm getting to the other side to make sure that, you know, underneath gets saturated too. So, our don't side, don't do this. And then people, you know, you fold it in like this. Let me just show you. I utilize the whole foil. Look at how much more hair I'm leaving out. I mean, that's gonna create a whole corner section. If you just went up the whole side of the head, same with that side, then all you'd be left with is this back section. But because you only use this much of the foil, say you come here, same with that side, then you go up the back. Well, now you're gonna have these two sections here on either side because you didn't utilize the whole length of the foil. So you're making more work for yourself. All right. Now on another don't side, I'm going to foil um, like as if we were going off the mohawk. I'm gonna foil this way versus this way. And I feel like now the style is really soft and blended. I, I mean, I know I see a lot of contrast and dimension coming back, but not in, not in the sense where it's the old school way of foiling. So we're just going to take this section. Like, look, this is the size. I see a lot of people foil and you're like, wait, you're just not using as much room as you could be. Like I see people do this straight down the center mohawk and it's like they're only foiling this part when they could be getting, you know, all of this. Or I see people do this thing and call it good. These are pretty big sections here too. So I feel like these are really thick slices that I'm taking and going really fast. I'm not like, you know, going in this way. I'm guessing it's gonna be splotchy. This is probably what happens when people say, oh my stylist, I'm in and out in two hours and I can guess, you know, she's not doing all the extra detail work that, you know, going through making sure your foil section is heavily saturated. Um, and I gotta go refill my bleach, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So another thing of don't that I thought about is, and I've seen a lot of stylists do this, people that I've actually worked with in the past, is um, say they're doing a whole head of foils, then they will um, mix literally all of their bleach in like three bowls so that it's right next to them ready for that service. And I don't ever say anything because I don't want to you know, second guess people or question them or whatever, it's not my place. But uh, they'll, they'll be like, okay, so I'm gonna start with 10 volume down in the back and then I'm gonna mix and I'm gonna make 30 volume for, you know, the top section that way it can catch up. And they'll make that 30 volume 
um, like immediately while they are mixing the stuff to start the foil in the back. And what happens then is by the time, you know, if you take an hour to get here, by the time you get to this part, do you really think that 30 volume is even effective anymore? I mean, it's probably as weak as the 10 volume is because it sat for so long and been oxidizing, like the power is literally gone. So don't over mix your bowls. Don't pre mix your bowls until you need them. You're gonna make more, you're gonna waste product or you're gonna be like, why am I not getting, you know, even lift? And I keep forgetting that this is the don't, <laughs> the don't section. So, you know, we're just, I'm not gonna retighten it all the way up to the root again because, you know, I see people do that. All right, and I think I'm just gonna go in with one more over here still. And just remember that if this is the look that somebody wants to have, where they want it to be more streaky and, you know, that's that's fine. This works great for that. I utilize this sometimes, but I'll normally do it um, and back comb the section. That way it's kind of more softer and has a more modern look to it versus just, you know, old school foiling. So... Just gonna finish this side up. I mean, you guys, I've literally seen people go like this, like, where they're. Let's see if I can do it where they're just like squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and squeezing, trying to make their, um, trying to make their foil just extremely flat. And I don't know if it's an o OCD thing where they want it to like look nice and clean, you know, where they're just like squeezing it and make sure that it's nice and flat to the head and whatever. I mean, I just tore it like that doesn't do anything good. so. Um, this is my don't side. Now we're gonna flip over here onto our do side. So, the way that I like to do my money piece, if somebody wants it brighter around their hairline, is I mean, I kind of know I got these guys in the way. And normally that wouldn't be a problem, it's mostly because I got this. Oh, another thing for don't, don't. Don't come in here after you've already like done your foils and move them around. You're just gonna lift them up from the scalp. Like, look at that, you're pulling these around. The more you move them, you're lifting them, you're pulling them. Say that's what somebody does. I mean, I do see a lot of people do that. So I'm actually just gonna do that right now to get these out of the way, cause that's a don't. And you'll see why later on when Right here, do you see that? That's bleach right there that I've now pulled this back. So now it's exposing, you can't really see it. Okay, there we go. Um, it's exposing bleach right here. So when the foils lay back down, they're gonna bleed on this hair up here. So don't ever move your foils once you have them laid down. And if you do have to move your foils, I have a technique that I can show you that way they're like lifted off of the head. You don't have to worry about moving them around or anything. You know, when people go through and they do the foils and then they want to go through and do the retouch and everything. And then they got to move all, all their foils about and everything. So that just creates bleeders. It creates lift from the root. You're not going to have the foils directly on the scalp. So move this a little bit more. All right. So for here, I would do like a really soft weave for the money piece area right on the hairline and see instead of going in like right like that i'm making sure that i'm sweeping it making sure that i'm getting a nice saturation all the way through the underneath of the hair 
lift this up. Make sure you're getting saturation under there. Yes, it takes more time. Yes, it takes more product. And yes, the end result is a lot better. So, you know, it's a win-win. Make sure you're coming back up here, tightening the foils all the way back up to the scalp. I've literally seen people, you know, where the foil drags down and then they leave it at that. Make sure you're tightening the foil back up. And I'm not at all going in here and squeezing this. I'm just going to... I normally wouldn't even do that, but because it's in the way, that's why I'm doing it. All right. And let's do just one more little weave right in here. I think the other side I was doing the streaks because that's not, you know, if that's what somebody wants, that's fine. But generally a weave is preferred it's for a softer effect. Right now the style is having a softer effect on the hair. You know, people don't want to have this harsh grow out line and all that, so. I mean, do you see you guys doing any of the stuff on the don't section? Is there anything that you've been like, oh shit, that's me. <laughs> Which, hey, it was me at one point too. So, you know, we're all here to learn and do better, so. All right, I'm gonna go up here. And I'm just going to close that side because I usually, I usually don't ever close both sides. I close one side to secure it. I don't like closing the other side because what happens is, say you have a bleach that really expands, but you like secure both sides and close it down. That bleach is gonna like poof out and the only direction that it can go is up. So that's gonna cause more bleeder where if you let one side kind of open, it can expand out to the side more instead of up and you're not gonna have the risk of having bleeders. All right, I'm gonna drop this side down again. I'm gonna show you. Look at how much these have lifted from the foil because I moved them up. I mean, that was tight and secure and now it's completely like lifted. So that's, that's not good. All right, I'm just gonna start right in here. I don't wanna go all the way down. So the way that I do my foiling um, is coming through and just doing like, you know, a really fine weave. And it really depends on what the, what the client wants. Do they want nice bright pieces? If they do, you can do just a really soft weave. Do they want it to have some bold pieces? You could go in there with like a, a soft slice. I like to kind of mix it up because people, I mean, the thing is all the hair is laying on top of it. So it's all gonna blend really nicely. So if you do a slice, you're not necessarily gonna see that straight, you know, streak of blonde because it's falling down and the hair is falling on top of it. And because you're doing your foils this way to where they blend really nicely. When you pull that back, they're not gonna see the lines in the hair. They're gonna see the soft foils that we did around the hairline. And that's, I don't, I mean, normally I would extend out and like work all the way up so I don't ever fold the sides really, unless I come to the section and these are in the way, then maybe I'll fold them back. Remember, we're going through this way to make sure that we're getting to the underneath of the section of the foil. Look at this. Heavily saturated underneath. And then the next one, because I don't think I showed you on the other side, um, I'm just gonna swish it down the top before I go through and saturate, and I'm gonna show you the difference. And now we're gonna go through with just a weave again because we just did a slice.
I'm gonna tilt the head and I can already see this bleaching through there. So it's, I'm just like, that's gonna drive me crazy. All right, so we're just gonna do a really soft weave. And guys, the difference between a baby light is say this is a weave. Cause I see, I feel like baby light is such a big term right now. So we're just gonna go through and do a regular weave. And I'm not gonna swish it because trying to show you guys the difference. So we're just gonna go, through, and I don't know, because it wasn't a slice, it might not show exactly. So say we just did the top part. Look at all this underneath that didn't get saturated. So that's why you really need to make sure that you go in heavy handed and just really push the bleach through the section. That way you make sure that you have heavy, good saturation it's evenly distributed and you're not gonna have to worry about having splotchiness in your sections or your foils or anything like that. And that's the difference between a hairstylist that does a full foil in and out in two hours versus taking the time to really make sure that you're doing a good job, having great saturation um, and making sure that your product gets on there really nicely and that you're doing an efficient job. So that one was a regular weave right here. I'm going to go through and show you just a baby light. I feel like a baby light is like such a fine little weave. It's like much less than, you know, a standard weave, but I feel, I see that word thrown around so much baby lights. Well, you're really just doing a weave. I mean, do you see how fine this is? Look at that. There's like, I'm trying to cover the, here. Look at how fine that is. That is to me a baby light. Just baby little bits of hair. Okay. And honestly, the thinner your sections, the better lift you're gonna have. I have people message me and they're like, oh, how do you get your dark clients level three clients to super blonde. And the honest answer is doing a foil that takes about five hours because my sections are so thin that it's a ridiculous amount of foils that you're doing, a ridiculous amount of time and product because you wanna make sure you have extremely heavy saturation, especially with darker hair clients because you wanna make sure that you get that lift in there. All right, so now we're going to, that stays there. Here's the top of our section and we're just going to go in with another soft weave. So this is, this is my preferred way of foiling up the side of the head. Again, I acknowledge that it's all preference and how people like to foil or what their client's desired end result is, but a lot of my clients, when they want a partial foil, and I ask them, you know, how do you like your grow out? Do you like having softer grow out? You know, oh yeah, I don't like having heavy grow out. I like being able to go a little bit. You know, I don't want heavy roots or whatever. This is a really good way to prevent um, too heavy of grow out where you see, you know, the lines in the hair and as the hair grows out, like here you see streak, 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 where this way it grows out much softer. It blends a lot better. So that's why, that's why I like foiling this way. And generally clients don't really care. They're just like, oh, whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, do's and don'ts of foiling. Do's, don'ts. So we're going to let this process. Um, and I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I'll probably let it sit for like 30 minutes or so. And I will show you guys um, after it's done processing. Okay, I wanted to show you here, look how nice and bright and even this is. This didn't even sit as long as the other side, and you can see that it just is a very nice even tone. Now we're going to come over to this side and look how much more warm it is. There's so much more orangey undertones in it. There's a lot of areas where there's darker pieces, and it just definitely did not get as good of a lift as the other side. Um, you can see where the splotchiness is where we creased the foils and 
that's because we didn't make sure that we were getting the underneath side we squeezed the foils that kind of removed the bleach in those areas so the um the lift wasn't as good and as even and it definitely didn't get as bright all over as the other side so on this side as i'm blow drying you can see those lines in the hair and that is what clients do not want to see i understand that yes there may be some clients that do want that kind of look and those clients never sit in my chair <laughs> so i don't know that there might be somebody that's okay with having that kind of style because they don't know any better or because they've never had their hair foiled like as the opposite side but people have come and sat in my chair and they're like i saw your foil where you blended it so it grew out nicely on the hairline and that's what made me decide to come to you versus the person that they normally go to so i'm going to show you guys here a little bit better look at those racing stripes that's when i refer to that in my videos that's what i'm talking about right there those stripes that go around the head and then now i'll show you the other side where it just blends so nicely it looks as if the sun naturally highlighted it and when the hair grows out you cannot see a harsh grow out line it just softly it softly grows out and it blends so much better and the grow out is very minimal because there's not those harsh lines of a demarcation to show you like where the grow out is Okay, and here I wanted to show you how much more blended it is on the side. So look how fine those pieces are. It just blends so nicely. The whole side looks nice and highlighted, but it's not like really super streaky or anything. It just has a really nice, soft, subtle, highlighted effect to it. And look how even that is. It just looks so pretty and natural. And I mean, there's just such a big difference with that. So. I highly recommend not foiling like stacked up the side of the head and start foiling more vertically to get a prettier, softer appearance and that should really make your clients happy because they'll be able to go much longer without feeling like they have a horrible grow out. Okay, now we're on to this side, the don't side of the top part of the foil right off the part. And you can see how chunky and streaky the hair looks. And yes, this is honestly one of my favorite looks, but I still would not foil this way. I feel like there's a modern way where you can go through and do more of a streakier look maybe backcomb the foils instead of just pushing them right up to the top of the part because that's going to have the worst grow out they're going to have a heavy line of demarcation and they're just not going to be as happy with their hair so here we're going to go through and i'm going to show you it's kind of hard to see but when i was in person doing it you could really see like the splotchiness and kind of where we creased it i don't know if you can see that line in there it's kind of it's it's kind of hard to see but there's definitely splotchy like right in there there's definitely splotchy orange areas from where we creased the foil and where the bleach wasn't able to penetrate very good because of pushing that crease so hard like multiple multiple times and that's why i cringe when i see people doing that because i'm like you're gonna get you know splotchy bleach marks or whatever so anyways we're going to go through here and we're just going to kind of show you um, the unevenness of the highlights. And it's not like a drastic, like, 
oh my god that, that's like so obvious but it's stuff that's simple enough that we notice or that i would notice that makes me feel like that is definitely not a good job done and it's something that i wouldn't be able to charge my prices if i was doing work like that because i feel like that is not quality work um i understand that people learn and we all can like grow to do better and that's just stuff that i have learned not to do any longer and also moving the foils back and forth i want to kind of get in here a little bit more where you can see where the roots are because we lifted them back and forth and it's not much maybe it's only like just barely barely off the roots but you can see on the don't side that the foils are not completely up to the scalp and it pisses me off if i do a foil and i can see that my foil is not directly on the scalp if that bleach does not go right up to the head like you can see there's a little bit of just some grow out already and that makes me feel like i do a bad job because they're already walking away from the appointment with a teeny little bit of grow out and maybe it's only like an an eighth or like just the, the smallest amount but it's enough to me that would feel like that's not close enough up to the scalp and it's from moving those foils back and forth right in there you can see where we didn't get very close to the roots And up here on the other side, you can see that we got right up to the roots. It blends so much nicer. You can't see where one starts and the other stops because everything just blends so nicely. And I'm going to be honest, clients don't know the difference between like somebody will come in. I'm like, oh, how do you like your foils? Do you like going straight down the mohawk section or do you like it to be more blended? And a lot of people, most everybody now says that they want their hair to be more blended. And stylists will still do kind of on my don't side. They will still foil that way, but maybe in very small, thin little foils and a lot closer and many, many more. But it still creates a streak that when the hair grows out, you still see lines in the hair. So that's why I foil this way no matter what, because it just creates so much more of a blended look. And clients are always so much happier with this way of foiling. And if they've never had their hair foiled this way, they're always like, oh my God, what did you do different? Like my hair blends so much more. It looks so much more natural. I don't see any like heavy lines in the hair. And they're always so much happier when I foil up the side of the head on the do side because it looks so much softer and blended. And they're always so much happier to have their hair this way. And I'm just trying to show you here that look how much more even the highlight is. It's from root to ends. It has a nice even tone and you don't see any of that splotchiness that you do on the other side. Last time, here's the don't side, and you guys, there is a way to go about doing high contrast, and if you want me to do a video on that, I will. And here's the softer side, softer grow out. The client's gonna be much happier when they have much softer grow out than before. There's not gonna be a heavy line of demarcation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if I have any more tips, this is just kind of like the basic stuff. I will try to do another video if you want me to, more detail. So thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.